hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be talking to you guys about my experience with the covid vaccine so let's get started Okay, so I pretty much just got back from getting my first dose. I got the Pfizer Biotech dose. Um, I honestly didn't feel it at all when it went in um, and it was really easy. The hardest part was to get the actual appointment. It took weeks to do that. Um, but after I got the appointment, it was kind of they ask you the regular questions like um, your information, like your date of birth, your, your name, all that fun stuff, insurance information. And then they ask you, have you had a vaccine in the last 14 days? Have you um, had a COVID-19 positive test? Have you had any symptoms? Have you traveled and all, that, all those questions that they ask and you kind of register for your date and time and that's it. On the actual day, you just show up there. Um, it asks you to show up five minutes early for the appointment. I ended up showing up about half an hour early and they let me go in. Um, and then here they ask you to see the email confirmation just to verify that you are actually there with an appointment, not just randomly there. Then they ask you to sanitize your hands and change out your mask. Then you go in and you have to wait in line. I didn't. Have, I was lucky enough, I didn't have to wait in line. I literally was the first one in line, so they sent me to a booth. There you meet who's going to vaccinate you. In this case, I had a very nice um, nurse. And they ask you all the same questions again that they ask you outside, like, do you have any symptoms? Do you have any um, COVID-19 in the last couple of days? Have you have exposed? Have you traveled? Yada, yada, yada. And they confirm that you're who you are. They ask you to bring an ID. So I brought my passport, confirm who I was. And they kind of give you the ideas, like, is this your first or your second dose? And mine was my first. So they tell you normally for the first dose, people either don't feel anything or have like slight muscle ache in the hand and or fatigue. Um, and then she filled out my little vaccination card and went in, they didn't feel a thing. And then they made me wait for 15 minutes. While I was waiting for 15 minutes, I got an email to book my second dose appointment since I got the Pfizer, which is 21 days. If you get the Moderna, Moderna it's 28 days. If you get the Johnson & Johnson, it's just one dose. So in my 15 minute wait, literally just made my second appointment and waited my 15 minutes and then headed out and that was it, easy peasy. As of right now, it's been about two hours from the vaccination and I really don't feel anything yet. But when my mom got it, she didn't feel anything until the night, like overnight where she like started feeling like her um, hand being a little heavy and then she had a little bit of nausea and headaches. But she does have a lot of underlying issues. So I don't know if that's what it was for me. As of right now, I haven't felt anything. But if I feel any other symptoms, I will update you and I will update you after my second one, which is the one that actually tends to give you a hard time. So fingers crossed I don't get anything. So I just, um, it's evening now and I had my second dose of the vaccine. Again, I had Pfizer, so 21 days. Um, I have a sore arm that comes and goes. And then I've had a headache that comes and goes. Nothing very big. It's more like when you don't need it, you get like a little think of a headache so I had that but it's been good um, apart from those two things I really haven't had anything but I will come back tomorrow and update you as to if I've had anything else
Hey, so it's been one day after my second dose and last night I actually ran a fever. Um, and I know this because I woke up in the middle of the night and when I, when I normally run fevers, I feel like in my eyes for some reason. And I woke up in the middle of the night with extra sweating and I was feeling super, super hot and my eyes were like, I could feel the fever there. So I did run a fever last night. Um, and then during the day, I woke up with a lot of energy, but then I started like losing my energy and I just, like lost my appetite for it. Like I ate a normal breakfast, but for dinner, uh, for lunch, I kind of lost my appetite. And then I was feeling really, like I ran a fever again, like smaller one, and then I went to bed and I ended up sleeping for about two, three hours. Uh, woke up feeling better again. And then um, at night I ate more than usual. Um, and then I was running a small fever that one I didn't really sleep or anything at all. Um, and now I'm going off to bed, so I will update you tomorrow. Hey guys, so it has been two and a half days pretty much, and after that second day of having fevers and all that, I had nothing the next day. Um, I've had nothing today, I felt great, nothing normal again. If I of course, if I touch the area where I got the vaccine, it hurts a little, um, but my arm is not sore. I can move it around. I haven't had a fever, no headache, um, no feeling lethargic or anything like that. So please get vaccinated when it's your chance, when you're eligible, when you can. Any vaccine works, Pfizer, Moderna, uh, as of right now, Johnson & Johnson is on pause, but whatever you can get, uh, don't just do it for yourself, do it for your family, your friends, and everybody else so that we can reach immunity and go back to a new normal that's closer to the old normal. And please keep doing the normal safety things, which is wearing a mask, washing your hands, and social distancing. Even if you have the vaccine, keep doing it because you have the new variants of COVID that are coming out and are getting more prevalent and we want to stop that. Um, please leave a comment below, guys, if you have any questions about the vaccine and my process, I'm more than glad to um, answer them below. I will post another video if something else were to happen. I don't expect it to, but if something were to happen, I would uh, post another video and I will keep you updated on my Instagram, which is down here um, okay guys thank you guys so much for watching please click the like button so that i can keep giving videos like this that are a little bit informative click the notification bell to get notified when i post which is weekly on thursdays normally and click the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much for watching and i will see y'all next time bye guys